these uh, brake lights on the 65 Dream and we had the uh, opportunity to look at the original wiring diagram. It was a little bit confusing so I wanted to draw one out that kind of got rid of a lot of the stuff that you didn't really need to be able to troubleshoot this. Um, this one also includes the dome lamp but the biggest uh, thing I wanted to include was everything from this one connector and I'm just gonna hover here for a little while so that you guys can uh, freeze frame this and maybe copy it or whatever. But uh, I'm gonna have these available um, soon, hopefully, in a little bit better format. So you can see the source there. Um, yeah, that's as good as it gets. They don't, they don't change much. I haven't seen them change much from one source to the other. But anyway, let me show you where that six pin connector is. Under the, the dash here, right, right there. And you can see there's been some, some work on that. A few wires are clipped. I wanna do some troubleshooting on that, uh, see which ones are actually clipped, compare it to my, uh, my diagram and uh, see what else is going on. I think there's, Looks like there's another wire up there that has uh, an issue. Yeah. Oh yeah, that doesn't look good. Yeah. So I got a wire that cooked up in there. That's probably something that we gotta chase down. So anyway, the this uh, this wire group of wires goes all the way back. Uh, to the back it goes up this pillar and all the way to the back the, uh, all the way reach it there Issues there already. Anyway, some of these wires go back to the dome lamp, and the diagram shows a rear dome lamp, but I haven't seen very many of them equipped with that, at least not originally. I'll show you where these other connectors are. this video move some stuff around in the back get that sign out of the way I don't want to be walking on that be right back okay we pulled out all the wires that we could we could see or we could feel in this uh, channel here uh, if you're back in there a good thing to feel for also is a little bit of rust if the roof is leaking that's uh, a part that's gonna rust out on you but uh, oh, yeah, another another video so these wires are extraneous. Uh, they're going back to the rear dome that was installed extra. And you can see we got a clipped wire there. And then this, that looks really old to me. So I'm gonna unbundle that and see how that, how that uh, 
well, that connection is, but that looks like that's been there for a while. So you got uh, five five wires in this, and we should have. Four, five, four. Oh, gosh darn it! It's for the dome light. Uh, now we should have four wires going back. So from the connector, six wires coming out of there, and four going into this. So that makes sense. The the white wire, yeah, goes to the dome light. That's the old dome light one. So here are the four going to the back. So that first connector that is shown right here, this is one side of it, this is the other side, that is right here. And it'll be real near this. I guess that's why they had that little, little bend portion so that you can get that in and out of there. And so you got that going back. You got three wires going down to the left rear tail light, one of which keeps going to the gas tank, and that's the other connector right there. So that is gas tank. Where are you? Yeah, right there. That's that connector right there, tan wire. All right. So This is the wire that goes across. Two wires, boom, down to the right tail light. And that's pretty much it. So we do have a running light. We do have a turn signal. So the issue is just with the stop. And what I did not show on this diagram is the other side of this connector. And so that's what this diagram is about. And these are preliminary, you gotta excuse, there's some uh, corrections I'm gonna make on this. Nothing big, it's, it's workable. But you see, I didn't do the other side of the turn signal switch. This is all for clarity. Just the part that goes up to the turn signal switch. Uh, this is the part that goes to the steering column, boink. But uh, this is the other connector other side of the connector that we see up here, boink. And the reason I wanted to include this was because it shows uh, the power source at the fuse panel and also the brake light switch, which I guess I didn't mark that, but that is the brake light switch. So we are gonna double check to make sure that we got power to the brake light switch. And then from the brake light switch, we will uh, trace it back to the orange orange wire, Boink. which also goes up to the headlight switch. Hmm. Anyway, um, I'm gonna put it on uh, put it on time lapse and go from there. <laughs> I think we got this whipped um, brake lights are on and I'm thinking that I've got a bad switch down at uh, the brake pedal underneath I'll show you that in a minute but I wanted to show you a couple of things maybe it'll save you some time later on if you're troubleshooting brake lights normally it's not going to be a bad wire uh, it'll be something simple hopefully of course there's no telling how long these brake lights have not been operating but anyway uh this is the 
fuse, the far left, and it says tail and points to that one. So I double checked to make sure that that uh, fuse was good and it was a little bit rusty. Of course, that whole fuse box, that whole fuse panel is not in the greatest of shapes, not in the best position. Anyway, uh, cleaned it up a little bit with a little emery cloth. And so that's where the brake light switch is getting its power from, is that, that fuse panel, that fuse right there. Uh, of course, all the tail lights are, so chances are that was good anyway. Anyway, good, good place to start. Doesn't hurt to check it. And the other thing that you can check is when the brake pedal is applied. You see I've got this pickle fork pushing on the brake pedal and it's uh, jammed up against the seat. The, the white wire on the turn signal switch connector should have power to it. If it's got power to it when the brake pedal is applied, then you know you're getting power all the way through the brake pedal switch, brake light switch, and then up to the turn signal switch. From there, it should activate both the left and right uh, turn signals, which are the stop lights. Turn and stop are the same ones, except they're not gonna flash. So if you are getting power to that white wire with the brake pedal applied, then you should have brake lights. If not, then the problem's gonna be either in that turn signal switch or, uh, well, that should be the only problem, especially if your turn signals are already working. So there's a good one. So turn signal's working. If you've got no power to that white wire, then it's probably that brake light switch. Let me show you where that is. Underneath here. So you can see it through the grill. That's right, right there. Let me see it right. Let me get my finger on it. Right there. And it's got a lever that goes up and down, and that's that's activated when you press the brake pedal down. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and take that off. I don't know if I have another one in stock. I'd be surprised, but uh, that looks like the issue right there. Right now I've got the, the uh, alligator clip for this test light, basically jumping those two. So what I did was check to see if there was what there was power coming into that white that orange excuse me the orange wire and if it was coming through that switch which it wasn't so that's my current guess right now it's got a bad brake light switch and we will go ahead and take that off try to get another one so it's gonna be a pain to try to troubleshoot that brake light switch uh, another way besides checking that white wire at the turn signal switch if you have the belly pan on so that's why i wanted to mention that but you're probably gonna have to take that belly pan off anyway to change that switch i had the belly pan off anyway so that was it was easy for me anyway hopefully that'll save you some time i'm gonna pull that brake light switch off and see what we got i was doing a little wiring on frank 65 van and had a couple of wiring diagrams that I drew myself for clarity, but I wanted to take an opportunity to share the original wiring diagrams that um, that I'm using as a, a basis for, for these. Uh, this is a little bit complicated. Uh, sometimes it's not real clear, but uh, this is one of them, and I'm going to hover here to make sure that this, if you're going to freeze frame this, that you're going to be able to uh, figure out what what is what's going on, and then uh, also get a little bit closer so that you guys can slowly but surely figure out all of this stuff as far as uh, 
uh, all the small details, all the different numbers and letters. So I want to keep this video short, so I'm not going to hover too long, but certainly long enough so that you guys can pause it and then uh, either run down this diagram or copy it, whatever works. So, and then there's the, the detail, T1031 number two. Okay, here's the other diagram, which includes the fuse panel. And I'm gonna get a little bit closer. So, you should be able to find these online, but uh, sometimes it's not easy. So as long as I have these out and available, I wanted to go ahead and uh, show this. Now that big connector right there at the top on the upper right uh, is the one that uh, a lot of people have uh, problems with. Uh, that one is uh, an issue. That one goes, that one's, well, we'll talk about that one later. <laughs> one thing at a time. So. Nice and slow. Let's see what's going on. The connector there at the turn signal, which is uh, says uh, two directional signal switch. Sometimes that's a little bit uh, iffy as far as which one goes to where. Just got to look at it. And this one for the fuse panel. Oh, that's that's kind of a a tough one. So I blew that one up. And I will show you that. That is right there. So it makes it a little bit easier to see where the wires are going. And of course, those, that's the back of the, the fuse panel. So you gotta kind of flip that around in your head. All right. And that's the wiring uh, diagram for the first gens. That's uh, pretty consistent from all, all across the first gens. If I find any updates, I will post it up. If you guys have any comments on this, or you've run into other issues where this diagram is not correct, and I've seen that, especially on the second gens, where the diagram does not match the actual wiring, then uh, drop me a line in the comments section, and we will update it so that we can keep these these vans wired tight thanks for watching